We are here today in a brand new flip house. I'm really excited. This place has tons of potential and some real cute features. I'm thinking about calling it the dormer house. You'll see why when we head upstairs. Um, very exciting. from FlippingHousesAndPancakes.com and I am here today in another new flip house. This one has loads of potential. I'm really excited to show it to you. We're going to walk through and it has some really neat features, some of which I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with yet, but um, I'm really excited and I hope you guys are going to enjoy walking through this house with me. I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get started. All right, it's super windy outside today, so we're just gonna start on the inside. When we walk in, it has a nice little coat closet. I don't have to do anything other than paint and new flooring, because, ooh, this carpet's gross. So we're definitely gonna do new flooring in here. This is your living room space. It's got great windows, and the windows are in good condition, like nice new windows, so I'm excited to keep those. And we'll do something fun in this living room space. Let's move through. Then we have the dining room and oh my goodness, is it just me? Um, hello. I guess when I was growing up, I had, I had fixtures like these that were built in and I loved them and I'm really excited to try and keep these as much as I can. Uh, and I'll tell you what I'm planning so you know, I really am going to try and keep those cabinets in here. That is the dining room, and then we have the kitchen, and the kitchen is gross. <laughs> Horrible, tiny, there's no space. Look around the corner, and there's a stairwell to the basement. So let me tell you what I'm planning for this kitchen. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm planning to do with this kitchen, and the only way I could think of to really salvage it, which you can see really well, but we've got the M built-in cabinet right there and I don't want to get rid of it. I love that built-in cabinet. To make the kitchen more functional, I'm going to take this wall and I'm going to blow it all the way back to here. I'm going to move the wall so my opening is right where this wallpaper is and then where the opening is right now, I'm actually going to close that space and I'll show you why. Because when you look in the kitchen, that will give me, if I have a wall right here, that will give me this whole space to put cabinets in, which is amazing. Still, it's not huge space, but it gives me enough room for a refrigerator, maybe a pantry. I haven't drawn it yet, so I'm not sure. But we're definitely going to have space here for cabinets. And by taking this wall, pushing it back to where the current cabinets are, which is just about where that cabinet is, um, I'm going to have the ability to have a really nice walkway right through here and we'll have two rows of cabinets. Very excited about it. It's still gonna be a small kitchen, but I think it's gonna make it so much better. Okay, now, main floor still. We're gonna go down the hallway and see the bedrooms that are here. We have a nice linen closet that's right there. We turn to the left, ha, ah, we turn to the right. And we have a bedroom. It's not huge, it's just, you know, it's a perfectly decent sized bedroom. We've got this bedroom, and we're going to head back down the hall, see what else is here. You can see, again, there was our living room and dining room. Down the hall, past that little closet, and we have the bathroom. This bathroom needs to get replaced, but we've got the toilet, the tub, and the sink. Currently, currently the door doesn't open, but we'll fix that when we redo the bathroom. And we've got another closet here. So, so much space, um, storage space in here, which is great. Second bedroom, again, perfectly good size. It's got its closet there, and that's it. That's the main floor. Let's head upstairs. We're gonna go through this weird door, which, yes, I am going to remove this weird door. But we're gonna go through this weird door and head upstairs. This space is pretty strange. When you've come up the stairs, you see 
you come up the stairs and there's this weird little nook on the side with with bookshelves and then like a closet that dips way deep inside and it turns out it actually opens into the next room so that's gonna get closed I mean it's gonna get closed over there by that wall but this space I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna build something really fun there that'll be cool I'm very excited about it all right this is why I think I'm gonna call this the dormer house it's pretty narrow and there's a lot of dormer happening. So we're gonna walk through and into what's currently the bedroom. So this is a bedroom. This is going to be our primary suite. And I'll spin you around so you can get a good view. Definitely a lot of dormer happening here. It happens to be a huge room. It takes up the whole, the whole house practically. Um, of course, we lose a lot of space because of the dormers. So the wall, if you can see, the exterior wall is actually about five feet that way. And again, five feet that way. So we, leave, we lose 10 feet of space width-wise for this room because of the dormers. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to pop out in two spaces. We're gonna pop out right here and turn this closet into a bathroom and we're gonna do a second pop out over here and make a closet. And the closet, the whole space of the closet is actually gonna be inside that dormer. So it won't take up any more room um, away from the bedroom. But this is gonna be the bedroom. I think it's gonna be super cute, especially once we have the bathroom and the closet fixed up here properly. All right, so that's fun. Let's head all the way down to the basement. Through the kitchen and downstairs. Now there's an exterior door. So we go to the backyard. It's got a nice size backyard. Needs a little work, but that's okay. All right, to the basement. And this is the basement. It's not in the greatest condition. It's like a little room back there, but it opens out to the next space. And we've got some utilities back here. So what are my plans for this basement? I'm going to go home and lay it out in my software, make sure I have space for everything I want to do. But I'm definitely going to try and put at least one bedroom, maybe two bedrooms down here, and a full bath. And then we'll have a utility room and hopefully a big open space for the kids to play in. Because I love to have a big den space. Now there's one more fun feature that I found in this basement. And no, I don't know if I can salvage it. And I don't know if I have a good spot to put it in. But I'm just going to tilt the camera a little bit for you. Do you see this shelf? You see, it doesn't work right right now. It's a Murphy door. I love those. It's a secret door. It looks like a bookshelf, and when you push on it, it opens up into the next room. Don't know if I can salvage it, but if I can, wouldn't that be a fun feature? I'm really excited. I hope it works out. And that's it. That's our new dormer house. I'm really excited to start working on this property. I hope you guys will come along with me on this journey as we start to renovate and fix this place up, trying to keep some of the really nice features that this house has and give it new life. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications so you find out every time I upload a new video. That way you make sure not to miss the next episode in this series. And of course, don't forget to check out my website, flippinghousesandpancakes.com.